The idea of good preparation is, and why trees need this, is compaction. Compaction is one of the biggest limiting factor for growing trees. And what compaction is, it's a, it's a, it's a compressed layer of soil with no oxygen, and we call it anaerobic. And people don't quite realise, but in this anaerobic layer, the roots can't penetrate because of the of the acid byproducts of the anaerobe, which is alcohol and formaldehyde, which is extremely poisonous to the root systems of the trees. So what you find, you'll get a 50 year old tree, gets blown over in a big windstorm, and there is just a big flat root system, no tap root. So we've been suffering compaction for a long time. So to get really strong trees, we need to open up the soil and deep rip. And uh, as you can see on the line that we've done, and this is, gives you an indication, we are absolutely getting about 12 inches on our first run, which is allowing the roots to get penetration and also it allows the moisture to, um, to get down to the roots after a good rain event. We've been farming this country now for 150 years and we haven't given anything back to it. And with the overuse of heavy machinery, cattle, and clearing of all the uh, native vegetation, we have a serious compaction problem in this landscape. And compaction is one of the reasons why our grass roots even don't go down very far. Whatever you've got this compaction layer, you basically, you're at the mercy of the heavens with, with rainfall. But the moment you can allow to deep rip and penetrate at least a foot, you're gonna have a root system that's far more drought tolerant. And this goes not just with trees, but also with, with our grasses. So it's really important. And the other thing that people don't realize is our beneficial fungi that live in the soil, they breathe in oxygen. And so while you have compaction, you can't have these beneficial fungi living down there. So the, the idea of the deep ripper, it is to speed things up get the system happening. Then we can use natural organisms, microbes, compost teas, all these things, which will then take over. So it's a, it's a quick start to getting the biology happening in the soil. The Yeoman Plough, it's got a 22 inch shank. And there's, the special part of this Yeoman is the foot. And the foot is like a little wing keel. And what it does, it slices into the earth without disturbing the, the upper profile, and then it shatters underneath. So we've got this coulter running in front, and it slices the grass, and then this really fine foot goes in, shatters the underneath, but very little disturbance on top. This is what makes the yeoman plough so special. One of the important things when you're deep ripping is to try and always deep rip to contour across the contour line. So what we're trying to do is capture all the rainfall so it can wash in and, and, and um, wet the trees out. So when you're deep ripping, even if you're on the side of a hill and you're planting down the hill, if you can deep rip across on contour, you're gonna get a far more successful planting. Because you've got to remember, 95% of our water in a heavy downpour runs off. We want that water to run and soak into the ground. And you'll get a far more uh, healthy tree because of this.